Today I'd like to talk about the uh, <coughs> stepper motor driver board that's used on the Astro Kits. The Astro Kits quartz stepper version. Uh, <coughs> this of course is the larger version of the uh, Astro Kit drive. It has a stepper motor. There's the board that runs it. it runs on four AA batteries. All the very similar to the original design except it's you know beefier and as a stepper motor. Okay. The thing about the stepper motor that's really advantageous is it'll run at a given speed uh, and you don't have to worry about it too much. It won't, it won't bog down, it won't speed up because it, it, your batteries are, uh, or slow down because your battery, or the condition of your batteries. It's just going to run at one speed. And that's really what you need with this. We're not using a stepper motor uh, for for power, we're using it for timing. And I discovered when I first designed this that most of the driver boards for steppers were really meant for power. Robotics, for example, you need you want to lift something, you want to move something, you need a little bit you know, more horsepower than you do here. Here we're just using it for timing. In fact, uh, this is designed to be. Uh, there's really not a lot of power required to move a platform. In fact, this you could you could simply just practically touch it with your. I have a design this way. You could just touch it with your fingers and it'll it'll stop. That's because I'm purposely not putting a lot of current into the motor. You know, I I want to make the batteries last. That's the main thing. So that comes from the uh, uh, how you design your stepper motor board, and this is the one we're using. <clears throat> this board was designed, it took a little bit of uh, figuring out to get this right and uh, uh, I, part of the circuitry comes from a gentleman uh, named Holbrook, he's in uh, Dayton, Ohio. He came up with the logic circuit and this was in Sky and Telescope uh, way back when and with a simple pulse going in you get out all the, in a proper sequence, the, the four, uh, here are the four transistors that drive the uh, coils, the four coils in the stepper. And this works really, really nice. Uh, over here we have power regulation in this area. Uh, this is the most important IC on the whole, on the whole board. This is the uh, Ceronix 8650A. This provides, this has a built-in quartz tuning fork, believe it or not. It's, it's in there. Hard to believe. It's that small. And and it's also CMOS, as are the others, so the power consumption is very low. Very low uh, I think it's a half a milliamps, practically nothing. And uh, what's great about this is that you get to select what pulse you want, and that's done by setting dip switches. And so you set the dips, and you'll get pretty much what you want. And, uh, of course, you do, if you if you're a real tinkerer, you could, this is the output from the uh, uh, oscillator right here. You could cut this and then put in your own pulse over here. Now, someone mentioned that, uh, can it be used to track comets? And since the comets are kind of, you know, it changes up and down, is very variable. Uh, I suppose you could put something like a triple five timer uh, type square wave uh, output oscillator and stick it on here and then use this to drive drive your motor, that would work. Uh, I hadn't thought of that with this, but yes, you could do that. So, I'm bringing this up because people are asking me for this. Uh, with all the comments coming, people want to know if I could supply these boards. And my first reaction was no, because all I have is the, the two left over from the old days uh, that, I, that I use. Uh, and um, I thought, ah, I'm going to you know, am I really going to build them? He says, well, actually I can. Turns out all the parts are available. Uh, what, what I decided was uh, I'll use, I still have boards, I found them. I have a bunch of these boards, a lot of them. And I have uh, plenty of these, the 8650As. These are not made currently. Why? I don't know. It's amazing that this is not on the market, but fortunately I have. So I have the board, I have the most critical part, the oscillator and everything else is new. So uh, I'm using, in fact, even better parts than were available back then. This is a very high quality dip switch. You get a lot of operations out of it. It's a CTS 206-8, I believe. Uh, this is a Phoenix uh, 
terminal board, really good quality, excellent. I'm using uh, good transistors, everything on a heat sink on this one. Uh, we have an LED that flashes in here, uh, what the pulse rate is, so this gives you an indication of the board's working. Uh, if it's a lot of pulses, I just showed you before, you might have seen it when, when I lifted up the other uh, board, you could see it, uh, it was solid, that's because it was flashing a lot, uh, 50 pulses per second for this. So, so this is basically uh, available. So, I have them now, and the other thing that's worth n noting, what's so good about it, well, it runs on four AA batteries. This is all you need. You don't need a car battery. You don't need uh, a, a whole bunch of batteries, anything complicated. This is made to run on this. That was the design goal. Have this run, a stepper motor, on nothing but more than four AA batteries. And these will go quite a while. A regular set of ordinary, these are CVS batteries, you'd probably get about 100 hours worth of use out of this. Now if you go with uh, the really good batteries, which are the Energizer Ultimate Lithiums, I estim I'm estimating you'll get about 350 hours worth of use. That's a lot. And that also includes its working, irregardless of temperature, it'll work. if it's 10 degrees outside it'll still work. Because uh, I've tried lithiums before in the cold. And uh, they're just phenomenal. They work great. And so you have battery power. Uh, ac the accuracy, by the way, uh, I, I, I do measure these as far as the accuracy, and I'm, I'm coming up with, uh, the, the nominal is 50 parts per million. So uh, this one was built, I measured this one at 30 parts per million. They're in that range, so that's that's probably 10 times more than what's required for, for a bond or a type drive. So that's, that's good. I got that. So what I have is I'm putting together a package. If you are interested in the board, I could get those out, but also a motor. I also have the motors. I have a lot of these. These are the uh, uh, motors that I landed up never using all those years ago. These, these are the, uh, these are marked AW Hayden, which is the same as Airpax, and this is an A A2478. Uh, some of them are marked A A2478M1. The same thing. These motors are fantastic. Uh, I, I really like it. it has a, this is a really solid gear head. I've opened this up. I've looked at the gears. They're, they're, you're not going to break them. Uh, with this motor, <laughs> if you were to seize it up, it's just not going to break. They're typically, on timing motors, you, if you seize up the shaft, it, the gears internally break. Not on this one. These are all very heavy-duty metal gears inside. And In fact, uh, what I'm doing is I'll open it up. I'll put fresh grease inside. Grease is still good in there, but I think it might be good to put fresh grease in. And these are, these are of course, surplus, they're never used. And they, that's the way they come, just like this. So, I have this available. Yes, this is a sales pitch, I admit. I usually don't do sales pitches, but you know, people are asking, so this is what's available. Um, I haven't really settled on a, a fixed price yet, but you can find it on my uh, Disto97 website. And I'll have an ad up on... Uh, Cloudy Nights under Disto 97. I have uh, uh, other things there too. Also, uh, uh, someone, I do have the rods. That's another thing I wanted to mention. <clears throat> I do have the curved rods. If you're making a curved rod design, which I highly recommend, it's it's kind of pointless to use a stepper motor if you're not using a curved rod. So I have the curved rods. These are curved to a 7.14 inch radius, and uh, that in turn gives you. Uh, a main gear that will turn at 1 RPM, which is easy to watch. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I, I no longer have these gears. These are gone. This The company that made these no longer exists. I, I've tried others. They just don't work the same. The good thing is that you could use pretty much any gear you could come up with as long as it's uh, threaded for a number 1032 uh, thread. It'll work. And uh, the way this one worked is it has uh, uh, a little hub over here and that rest in the hole and it, it, it worked pretty good. I just wish I could get more of them. I can't. But that's okay. You, if there's any other type of gear work. It's not that critical. Uh, so th I have the, the rods, motors, the stepper motors, and uh, the rest is not that hard to do. And uh, you'll be on your way. Thanks a lot.